Bills have gotten to 5-1 and one on the season, one of the best records in the NFL, but they have yet to play anybody in the AFC East. That changes the next three weeks all against the division. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Hoare with CBS Sports' Charlie Casserly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. Buffalo at Miami, a game you can see on CBS. And Charlie, when you look at the Bills, huge turnaround, great story this year, but why are they so good? I think they're good for a number of reasons. The, the Bills, when I looked at them in the offseason, I visited them, I thought they had one of the better young teams in the league. I just thought they were a year away. But guess what? All these young players have just started to mature and play maybe a little bit faster uh, at, than I thought they were going to play. But they have balance. They've got a quarterback, a running back. they got a wide receiver. Over on defense, you know, they don't have one star, but they have a group of players in each of the levels that plays effectively. The defensive line, the secondary and the linebacker position and there you can see the balance there they, you know they they can run it they can defend the run they can pass it they can defend the pass um, and you know they, they're able to get 25 points a game and anytime you're around that 17 point mark uh, you're going to have a winning defense and they also know how to win close games they've had to come back last week they closed out San Diego when they had to those are games they lost last year this year they are winning those close games the other part that you talked about those young players Trent Edwards is in his second year. He is looking like a savvy veteran. What about his game have you, have you liked so much? Well, I think the big thing with Trent Edwards when you talk to people, his ability to diagnose the defense and get the ball out quick. And here you can see his completion percentage is almost at 70% for the year, over 80% last week. So intelligence, the ability to diagnose and get it out quick and accurate to the receiver. This is something that the Bills told me he was exceptional at as soon as they had him on their roster, and he's just continued to improve in that area. And, and this week against Miami's defense and Miami's secondary, is this a game where you think that they'll be able to hit the long play to Lee Evans and Roscoe Parrish? Yeah, I think Miami's secondary has struggled during the course of the year, and I think Lee Evans is one of the premier receivers in the league. They got Roscoe Parrish back last week, who has got very good speed and quickness, played at the University of Miami, so he probably had to buy a few tickets for this game right here he'll be excited to come home so I, I think that is a mismatch favoring the Bills in this game as for Miami everybody ta has talked about the Wildcat and everybody uh, the last four weeks you know can it work can it work and they worked for a couple of big plays against Houston it obviously worked against New England didn't work last week against Baltimore at all they were able to throw the ball running obviously against the Ravens didn't happen are we talking about four weeks and done for the Wildcat formation? Well, I think teams catch up with it. And here's what happens is you begin to analyze what can a team do from it, but what can't they do from it? Well, one of the things they can't do is they can't throw the ball very effectively because who's going to throw it? Uh, on a consistent basis. It's not going to be Ronnie Brown or Chad Pennington coming around on a reverse. So those are gimmick type plays. So it, it, it was only going to happen that people slowed it down. What Baltimore did last week, they blitzed it. And why is that effective? Because when you're putting people in new positions, in other words, you're taking a left tackle and putting them over on the right side, and now people blitz it, you haven't had time to practice all those combinations. So now the advantage goes to the defense because you haven't seen what the defense can do against you. And I think it still has a place, but I, don't, I think it is not going to be something where it's going to take over a game like it did, say, in New England. What about this week? Ronnie Brown was really shut down last week. Is that going to be the case again this week against Buffalo? Well, I think uh, Buffalo has a good sound defense and they're solid like we said and they have Marcus Stroud in the middle which really has solidified their run defense but it's not as good as Baltimore's defense. Ronnie Brown is one of the best backs in the league over the first half of the season. I think he will make plays running the football. I don't think it'll be consistent but I think he will make plays and I think there could be some balance in the offense but still Chad Pennington I think is going to have to make a couple of big plays in this game. Right, take a look at the AccuScore prediction for this one. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results and whoa! It's a toss-up. you got a 5-1 and one Buffalo team and a 2-4 and four Miami team, and still the computer, little smidgen, inch. Who do you like? I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills. I think they're a better football team, but it would not surprise me if Miami upset them because Buffalo, as good as they are, they don't, they're not going to blow people out. But, but here's what I think the difference is. I think the quarterback position with Trent Edwards gives you more flexibility in the offense. He has deep threats, as we talked about, in Lee Evans and Roscoe Parrish. The Miami Dolphins do not have that. So I think you have a big play threat there with uh, Buffalo and not so much with Miami, and I think you have an edge in the return game. It's a 1 o'clock kick on CBS Eastern Time, and for more on this game or any other, it should be a very good one. Be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Casterly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.